Hi there. Today we're going to go through setting up powerboat routing on a tablet in the Predict Wind app. On the main menu, scroll down to power routing. Once we've opened the power routing page, we need to set up our boat parameters. Tap on the settings wheel on the top right. Here we need to select boat polars. In here we can set up the parameters of our vessel. So we have height above waterline, from the waterline to the top of our vessel so that we get a frontal area of the vessel. Economic boat speed, this is the speed that we are going to travel at for the duration of our passage. At this speed in flat water we would also have an economic RPM. Then we add the fuel consumption, litres per hour, then we want to add the displacement, the waterline length, the beam and the draft of the hull. Once we have these parameters set up, we can tap the power routing button and go back. We could change our depth avoidance or which ocean currents model we're using. We will stick with Mercator. Then tap done. Next we want to set the start and finish waypoints for our route. So we can move the green start waypoint and the red finish waypoint. You'll see down the bottom of the screen that we have our latitude and longitude pop up for each of those when we move them around. We can also change them by coming up here to the top right and tapping on the little teardrop with the lines next to it icon and You'll see when I move the waypoints, it will change the lat and long. And so we could come in here and we could manually write the lat long in for each of our start and finish waypoints. Once we have our start and finish waypoints set up, we want to check our start time. Normally we would set this for now if we were about to depart, or we could set it for a time in the future, such as tomorrow morning, we could put the date in for tomorrow and, um, and set our start time as if we were going to leave in the morning and we were planning for this, this trip. We wanted to run the weather for routing for it. We'll just close that by pressing the X and we will tap on the download button. So now we've calculated our route. Uh, we can come in and look at the tables and look at the graph and the graph will give us a good indication straight away of what uh, the route is going to look like. You can see the wind speed increases throughout the route. Uh, the wind direction does change at the beginning but what we really want to come and look at in here to get a quick overview of our passage is roll. So this is the amount of roll in RMS that the vessel will encounter on this passage. And you can see here that we do get above 4 degrees RMS of roll, uh, which is our threshold for um, an uncomfortable passage. So that's not looking good. Uh, if we come down here further, we will see vertical acceleration is not actually very high. It's uh, below 0.1, um, so anything above 0.2 would be too rough. So that's looking good for us. Slamming, we do encounter a little bit of boat slamming at the end of the passage there. So next come over and tap on the wave summary and see if we can get a bit more of an oversight as to what's going on there. So we can scroll through here. You know, we saw at the end of the passage it was starting to look a bit rough. And so we can see our the different directions of our wave 
uh, states, so the primary, secondary and tertiary waves and their periods and their height. So you'll see that they are different here and that's what will be causing uh, the roll uh, at the end of the passage here. And you'll see over here we do have warnings uh, about the roll. So we can tap on each of those warnings and they'll tell us what it is that we're looking for. Gust and roll. So we've got high levels of gust compared to the average wind speed there. We can also tap on our summary and have a look at the different parameters. Uh, you can see that our passage time uh, from, it, from our start time and our finish time, our fuel consumption, the distance we travelled, our average speed, and then down here we see the wind speed uh, and then the amount of time that we spend going into the waves or into the wind uh, and then the time we spend going across the wind for each of the models and then our wave heights and then we came come down here and we want to look at the amount of time that we spend in these unfavorable conditions for roll and you'll see it's 27% of the time so it's at the end of the passage there uh, so we we know that at least roughly 30% of our trip is going to be in unfavorable conditions so let's click over to the map and you'll see here if I tap on the route anywhere I will get information for the route and we can see the wind for our passage so go back to the start here scroll our way through and you'll see that the wind is builds as the passage goes on and comes behind us so that doesn't look too bad uh, but we do know that we end up with some roll so let's go and have a look at our wave flick over to the ECMWF wave very little at the beginning uh, and more at the end we tap on there 2.2 meters and uh, it's on the beam and so that's what we'll be attributing to our roll. So that's how we would use our power boat routing in a very simple form. There's a lot to look at in here. Uh, we can look through all the different parameters and get a real feel for the weather, looking at the wind, the rain, the gust, the cape, the currents is something that we should always consider. Uh, because our routing is using ocean and tidal currents and so we will uh, it will affect how our passage goes being able to see these currents but you can see that we go we've got the wind and the current going with us uh, in this passage so that's a good thing all right if you have any questions please reach out to support at predictwind.com